Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our BMW 4 Series. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 3 litre 435D M Sport Auto X-Drive Coupe. 2016 on a 66 plate. Has done 61,606 miles. Fuel economy, urban 42.8 miles per gallon. Extra urban 56.5 miles per gallon. And combined is 50.4 miles per gallon. Has a 0 to 60 time of 4.7 seconds, a top speed of 155 miles an hour out of a 3 litre 313 brake horsepower 24 valve engine. Road tax 6 months is £93.50 and 12 months is £170. We've got high pressure headlamp wash, the deep spoiler there, front parking sensors, the BMW 5 twin spoke. Um, dark silver and diamond cut alloys, uh, all in good condition, absolutely perfect. The all important M Sport badge on the side there, rear privacy glass, and uh, it's de chromed, it's black all around the windows, the window trims here, and the little sill uh, ex extension there. Shark fin aerial, remote boot release. The boot's bigger than it looks at the moment, all my stuff's in. You've got a little handle here, which you just pull the handle and the back seat's flipped down, so it gives you extra space. Um, pretty, pretty good design, I have to say. Rear parking sensors in the bumper, the little lip on the back of the uh, rear bumper, the, the rear spoiler. Uh, twin chrome exhaust tips. Now you, you've pretty much got to launch yourself into these back seats. You'd have to have the seat uh, forward. Well, let's let's see. Let's just put this back. I've, no, uh, perhaps I was wrong. To be to be fair, there's probably enough room. It's definitely only a four seater. There's uh, only two belts in the back, and then there's this separator here. Um, you probably got to lean in a bit the the roof comes in like so but you know for for a, a reasonably short journey um you you could certainly put up with it it's uh, it's lovely in the back not being sat in car's got hardened carbon speakers and it's absolutely fantastic as far as music goes it's black interior black leather black roof it's pretty uh, dull in the back here. You've got rear privacy glass as well and big um, headrests. So uh, I, I've got to say I, I couldn't travel in the back for very long. I, I think I'd become claustrophobic very quickly. But apart from that, very, very nice. You've got two air vents there as well. And as I say, these, it's, it's, the back seats or the back of the car is probably more an echo chamber for, for the radio than it is for, for passengers but that suits me. And there's a little button on the side of the seat there. When you get in out of the back, you can just put the seat forward like so. Blimey, me, that's a struggle. Okay, I'll just take you for a ride in it. Got a bit of room now. Two BMW keys here. Um, there's the stop start and the stop start off button. Knock that, uh, knock that off. Put that uh, somewhere where it's not going to rattle. And turn the fan down. Turn it up a little bit, so that's off. Right, uh, service history. To the iDrive, just put that over there so it doesn't look too unsightly, just charging my phone. It's on auto at the moment, so it's, uh, it, 
Uh, better knock that off, otherwise it'll just speed up again. So, service history. If we go to the iDrive, to menu, I'm just gonna have to back out that. Okay, back out, menu. And then we need, where is it, my vehicle. So my vehicle there, click on my vehicle. Vehicle settings, iDrive settings, driver profiles, vehicle status, and, and driver profile from what I can see. BMW driver one, driver two, driver three, and drive off guest. So you can set it uh, as from the key you use. I bet nobody's ever used that, but anyway. Vehicle status, technology in action, driving information, owner's handbook. So we'll go to driver's information. No, nope, it's not that. Vehicle status. Vehicle status, there we go. So on here, you've got the tire pressure. We'll click over there, tire pressure uh, sensors, uh, engine oil level, check control, service requirements, teleservice call. But what we, what we actually want Service requirements, click on service requirements. And it's showing there brake fluid okay, front pads okay, rear pads okay, engine oil, vehicle check, vehicle inspection all okay. And then we go back to service history, click on service history, and it's got all the dates. Doesn't tell you the BMW dealer that's done it sadly, but uh, 13th of 9, 2017, uh, 13,975 miles. Click on it, engine oil, microfilter, click back, next one. 6th of 6, 2019, at 29,434 miles. Engine oil, vehicle check, microfilter, air cleaner element, fuel filter. And next one, 15th of 10th, 2019, 36,818 miles. Brake fluid service carried out, vehicle inspection service carried out. Sorry, let me just go back there. 20th of the 7th, 2020, 47,152 miles. Engine oil, service carried out. Microfilter, service carried out. I think that's it, yeah, that, that's it. So the car is now done 61,606 miles. Uh, we'll service it before it goes out. It's, uh, it's, a real, it's, it's a real good setup. We've got height and reach adjustable multifunction steering wheel there. And... Uh, It's um, quite low, and this car park is quite awful. So be careful how I navigate off. I don't want to leave any spoilers behind. Just come over here at an angle. No way. There was, um, just before, there was a, a sheep there in the road and I heard a motorbike coming up. So I, I, I tried to shift the sheep and I couldn't. It wouldn't, wouldn't go anywhere. So I, I went to the corner and waved at the sight of the motorbike to slow down. And he came come around the corner and uh, basically <laughs> told me off for, for warning him and, and went, I've got eyes. So he's obviously got eyes that can see through that 100-year-old uh, concrete structure, but I don't ex exactly wish him an accident, but there's gratitude for you. Anyway, this car, we've got this uh, switch here to change the settings on it, and uh, at the moment, I think it's just in comfort. So if I knock back there, that's efficient dynamics and configure Eco Pro. Don't want that on because that switches the stop start on, although it does put that little blue dial on there um, and it tells you how much charge is going back in the battery. If I, if I take my foot off the accelerator, um, it's now charging the battery, putting charge in for when you need it. Later on when there's a, a demand, I suppose. All right. So then, that's comfort. Comfort's great. 
then you can go into sport. You probably could see the engine revs rise then. Everything just feels a little bit tauter. And then you uh, can go into Sport Plus and that knocks off your ABS. But to be fair, I think the ABS switch is there and you can probably knock that off yourself while you're, while you're accident or accidentally while you, you're messing about with the suspension. Comfort is fine. Uh, hang on, just let me put it into sport going over here. Horrible. Be great on a track. So, as I say, that, that's comfort. The car drives really, really well. On the way up here, on the motorway especially, in fact, it's better suited to the motorway and uh, other roads than, than this with the uh, with the hard suspension, the M Sport, and the tyre configuration, then it's, uh, I wouldn't say it's a car for the country or country roads, but certainly it's a car for um, windy roads, <laughs> windy smooth roads. It does drive very, very nice. Seats are comfortable, sports seats, there are also two position electric memory seats. Uh, you set it, and of course, from that driver profile when you get in, the, the seat moves to where you're going to sit, with if you've got the right key, that is, and moves your mirrors as well. And here we are, everybody's favorite certain death corner. <laughs> See what's around the bend today that wants to kill us. Nothing. <coughs> Steering wheel's nice, N nice, nice, thick, and uh, good feel to it. Good design. I like this aluminium. We've got cruise control on the left-hand side, and your voice controls, telephone calls, and also the uh, control your radio. The audio system is fantastic. That's, I'll just put nav on, I'll put the map on. It's the, the widescreen version. I think they're probably the professional nav. And uh, it's quite a good display. Certainly better than the one I was in yesterday, which to be fair, um, they may as well have just put a holder for your phone because my phone screen was as big as the, the, the nav. got Bluetooth hands-free Bluetooth audio streaming and uh, let me just let me just demonstrate the the bass and such on these Harman Kardon speakers hey Siri play the Sopranos theme tune <laughs> how about that for bass Awesome engine, very, very quick car, quite economical as well for its performance. Makes you want to drive too fast. Nice, I like this checker plate aluminium. Um, goes well with the, the leather, the leather sports seats. You, you've got these thigh extensions on the front here, electrically adjustable, aluminium. Oh, we, we've also actually got, there's a little switch here, and as I'm pressing it, this bit is closing in on me. So, uh, there's a comfy position, however you like to sit. Paddle shift on the steering wheel as well, minus on the left, plus on the right. You can 
knock that over like so. You can change gear using the selector. That's in sport as well, so holds it in gear. Sorry. That's sport as well. Changing down and up. But to be fair, the BM gearbox is, uh, is really nice. show you how to set the sat nav and the pair of delete mobile stream audio on the dash far left we've got fuel gauge just left is speedo on the right that's your rev counter, and then far right is coolant temperature sensor. You can change here your information display in the center. You've got clock on the right hand side. That's now telling me outside air temperature, uh, miles per gallon, how many miles we've done. That's instantaneous miles per gallon. That's average speed. That's the date, because you always need to know the date when you just sat in your car. And that's how many miles to empty we've got. This menu here, navigation, command drive. All stuff. Oh, actually, if I uh, click on command drive, if we go down there, you'll see Amazon Music, Audible, Spotify, um, vehicle apps. So I think you can download stuff there, manage mobile devices. There you go. So you can swap between phones while you're in the car if one's connected and you want to change over to another one. Bluetooth, Bluetooth information. All stuff that you don't want to be messing with while you're driving a car. Just, um, we're coming to a quite a steep hill, so I'll just see what effect the uh, the hill has on this efficient dynamics. If I go back into Eco Pro and then one good thing with the iDrive is that if you if your arm is on the front central armrest, you your hand rest naturally on the iDrive and it is quite you do get used to it you've uh, you can feel it's quite tactile and the uh, buttons are kind of sculpted as well so it's uh, a bit like a, a braille equivalent of a of car switches and the climate control panel and switch again is all easy I, I, I've got to say, full marks to BM for this. A lot easier than the Audi system. That's your heated seat. Click, click, click. Three clicks. It's it's. Well, first click, it's on on three on full blast, and then you know you click it uh, as and when you wish to cool it down or switch it off, and then also the fan, an actual switch up and down, and you don't have to take your eyes off the road to operate it. No pressing a switch for it to illuminate a, um, a display and then turn in the sw another switch to all stupid this is uh, this is quite good I've got to say here we go so we're on efficient dynamics here now 
there we go so we're going down and it's it's charging the battery up and it's actually not running away with me as much as you would think it would do going downhill because it's it's like driving these batteries or driving these dynamos running the motors backwards and uh, you can see there it's banging charge into the vehicle and also uh, and where it's coming from Battery is nicely topped up now. We'll just put it back into comfort. <laughs> see how see how much faster it accelerates when it's in comfort and not in Eco Pro. The suspension's really good when it's it's smooth. Um, it's just when there's a, a bump, it's um, <laughs> jars you. And actually, the, the, there will be a bump. Having said that, depending on where you live, you may not live in a place like Preston the pothole capital of the world. And of course I always fear for the alloys because the, the low profile tyres are, are that tiny. There's not a whole lot between the road and your rims. So always best to be careful anyway. Uh, it, it does make you want to just open the taps I've got to say I'm going to try and do a little bit on the motorway as well uh, a couple of people who watch say that the uh, they prefer the motorway test and uh, Now you're welcome. Don't worry. Let's see how quiet it is on the motorway. I'm glad I didn't meet them just here. And we're just approaching the uh, bit where there's quite a nasty bump. to the cattle grid there. But it's, it's, it's a lovely car. The, the amount of BMW coupes I've had in my time <laughs> and then all of a sudden I went off them. <laughs> I think it was when uh, BMW pillaged the UK motor trade that I fell out with them. Lovely car if you enjoy driving that's for sure.
there you go great car thanks for watching and see you in the next video okay well seeing as this is more a, a motorway car i would say than a country car i've just switched the cameras back on for my journey back home and uh, we'll see what it's like I already know what it's like of course because I came up here on the motorway and it's really good but now I'll show you okay so we'll just get some uh, speed up going around this bend enjoying the motorway nothing too deaf but see how uh, flat it corners and how quick it is in the cat's eyes there can be quite difficult joining the motorway here usually lots of traffic and not really a fantastic run on and already going too fast Cruise control on the left hand side here, We're doing 70 miles an hour, just click it. We're doing 70 miles an hour, switch it on, select the speed, just, uh, just selected 73 there, so I'll knock it back using this dial here, up and down. Uh, first camera to run out as you can see there's a bit of tyre noise but to be honest you've got to expect it from run flats and uh, if it were mine the next time I came to change it I'd put proper tyres on and uh, just get an inflation kit which is about 29 30 quid somebody on the motorway doing 60 miles an hour and he's just pulled into the lane where they're joining so just resume the cruise there But it's, it's nice, it's certainly fast. Um, handles very, very nice. I absolutely hate that, seeing them on the back of a car. got the full set roof box and bikes on the back I was coming up here a few weeks ago and uh, there was a roof rack and uh, three race three racing bikes in the uh, well on the hard shoulder I, I'm assuming somebody had dragged them off but uh, that's just what you want coming through your windscreen not <laughs> so anyway there you go it's uh, lovely car on the motorway we're on a nice smooth stretch here as well so you can hardly hear any tire noise it does just depend if I just go out into this lane though you can you can probably hear the difference from back on the smooth stuff
So there we go. Nice car on the motorway too. I'm trying to think whether I've forgotten anything. There's probably so much spec on this that uh, that I don't even know is here. Thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.